Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen a story that I posted a couple of months ago asking you to share your favorite cleanser of all time. This is finally the follow-up video to that story and similar to my ultimate skincare tag video, my sister Emily was telling me about this series that Allie Glines does here on YouTube, just like this but for makeup and I loved the idea and wanted to recreate it for skincare and hair care. So I wanted to make sure that I was giving credit to her for this, I definitely didn't come up with it myself but I really wanted to do this because I feel like this is the perfect way to get me to branch out and try out some new product. I'm sure you guys have started to pick up on the fact that I am definitely a creature of habit, especially when it comes to skincare. When I do find a product that I love that works well for my skin and doesn't irritate it, I hold on to it for dear life. And I feel like I have been recommending the same freaking products over and over and over for the past couple of years. And while yes, that does tell you guys what I truly love, at the same time, I recognize that part of this channel is about testing out new things and I just need to be better about that. So I thought that this would be the perfect way to do that. So a lot of you guys do have the same favorite cleansers as me, like the Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker cleanser, cleansers from CeraVe, Vanna Cream. But since I have talked about all of those cleansers before for this series and this video, I decided to pick up six cleansers that you guys all collectively love and recommended that I have never tried before. So I will show you guys all of these cleansers up close in action on my skin. We'll talk about formula, experience, and applying it, if it worked well for my skin, if it didn't, and we'll touch on ingredients, of course, as well. I will say my skin right now is on fire. Unfortunately, some of these cleansers just did not agree with my skin, and I'm at that point now where anything that I put on my skin burns like the dickens. So I'll of course explain all of that in this video, but there are some cleansers here that I was absolutely in love with that didn't cause irritation, thankfully. So we will get to all of that, but before we do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and drop a comment below letting me know what your current favorite cleanser is. Thank you so much for doing all of these things. It really helps to support me with the YouTube algorithm. So I appreciate you so much. And if you need anything from me at all, Check out my description box below because I have Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos, my SPF merch, timestamps, discount codes, links to all of the cleansers that I'll be talking about today, and links to my favorite beauty products of all time. All right, let's jump into it. All right, let's start off with the cleanser that I liked the least. We'll go least favorite to most favorite. I do just wanna say that if I didn't love something that you love and that you use, don't feel bad about it, keep using it. Skincare is definitely a very personal thing. We all have different skin concerns, skin types, and different preferences when it comes to a formula. So don't feel bad. But unfortunately, I really did not like this at all. It is the Tula the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. So I definitely wasn't unimpressed by the ingredients in this. It has some really nice ingredients, probiotics, rice protein, plant extracts like green tea and blueberry, which can help to calm, soothe, and hydrate the skin. This has camelina sativa oil, which is a nice nourishing oil, vitamin C and E, and panthenol, which is a really nice calming and soothing ingredient. This does have quite a few different forms of essential oils plus synthetic fragrance on top of that. So it has essential oils like lemon, orange, ylang ylang, is how you say that. And I knew going into this that because a lot of these cleansers do have added fragrance or essential oils that I may end up in the situation that I ended up with really irritated skin. But because these are cleansers that you rinse off, I thought that this would actually be a good way for me to kind of test out products like that to see if my skin had a negative response. And sometimes it did. This formula is so bizarre to me. Easily the weirdest cleanser I've ever tried. At first when I squeezed it out of the tube, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna love this. It's like this gel cream hybrid. It feels lightweight. Excited to try. As I started to rub it into my skin with water, I don't even know what happened. It almost turned kind of gummy if you will and started to separate weird it just was such a bizarre experience and it wasn't one that i really enjoyed like it just i don't know something about that texture grossed me out to be honest and on top of that the smell of this i just cannot get behind musty or something i don't know it smells like opening a box of clothes that have been sitting in that box for 20 years. Something, I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you do use this and love this. 
if you enjoy the fragrance. Like, I don't know why that just does not hit for me. But unfortunately, on top of that, my skin also burned so, so badly after using this. It felt really, really irritated. So across the board, this was kind of just a fail for me, unfortunately, and not one that I would recommend based on my personal experience. But again, if you love it, let us know why, because I'm super curious. And again, I'm never judging. This is a safe space. Okay, okay. After that, the cleanser that I liked the least is Tatcha's The Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser. I was super excited to try it based on that description. Unfortunately, it fell kind of flat. So this has rice ferment filtrate in it, which can condition and protect the skin. It has seaweed extract, hyaluronic acid, and something that we'll talk about in a second, rice powder. When I first squeezed this out of the tube, I was surprised by how thick of a texture it had. It felt pasty almost and not really in a pleasant way. I was hoping it would be a soft, silky, creamy formula and it definitely was not anything like that. Like it was almost kind of giving me glue. I didn't hate that aspect of it when I was applying it to my skin. I think I would have been fine with it. It maybe just wouldn't have been my favorite. The issue that I had is that it does feel scratchy. I am assuming from that rice powder almost like you're getting a little bit of physical exfoliation in there and that always just freaks me out because of how sensitive my skin is any form of physical exfoliation i always avoid because it typically doesn't end well and it didn't end well for me here my face felt very very tight after i used this you know that squeaky clean feeling back in the day maybe this is just me but i'm sure some of you can relate after some of those cleansers that we used to use in like middle school, the typical acne oily skin cleansers back in the day, they were so harsh, so stripping, and that's kind of how my skin felt after using this. How does this one smell? I forgot. Maybe almost a little bit like rose. It has a slight florally fragrance. It does have added fragrance pretty high up on the label. No other essential oils though. So kind of another fail for me here, unfortunately. I would be very curious to test this out if they removed that rice powder and if it didn't have that kind of scratchy feel because then I feel like, I don't know, maybe I could end up enjoying it over time if I gave that pasty formula a chance. Maybe not. Then we have the Soy Face Cleanser from Fresh. This one confuses me a little bit because they say it's rich in amino acids. I could be missing it, but I don't see any amino acids on the ingredients list at all. This has hydrolyzed soy protein in it, so maybe that's what they're trying to say. I really don't see a single amino acid. But aside from that, there are still some skincare goodies in this. So this has some nourishing oils like soybean, sunflower, and borage seed, cucumber and aloe to hydrate and calm the skin. This has vitamin C and E to condition, lecithin, nice conditioning ingredient. This does have rose flower oil in it. So that is an essential oil that helps to add a fragrance to this. Surprisingly, this does not really smell like rose to me. It really just smells like cucumber, which is nice. It smells very refreshing. Now, this is a cleanser that I do really enjoy as far as how the texture of it actually feels and how it applies to the skin. So it has more of a gel-like consistency. It's very lightweight. And when you're rubbing it into the skin, it feels very soft and almost slippery, but in a good way. It kind of just glides across the skin, lathers up ever so slightly, but not in a major way. And it rinses away very easily. Again, it kind of just slips right off when you do go ahead and try to remove it with water. So I really enjoyed that about it. I like this cleanser. I would say that this is like a solid four out of five for me. It wasn't something that I was like, oh my God, this is everything to me, the best cleanser I've ever tried, but I did really like it. Next up, we have a cleanser that I was very excited to use because at this point my skin was so irritated and this I knew would not be an issue for me because it's fragrance and essential oil free. So it's the Simple Micellar Facial Gel Wash. This one, says it's a water boost for dry and sensitive skin. This is super basic when it comes to the ingredients list. So really the only two things worth mentioning are vitamin E, which will condition our skin and panthenol, which again, calms, soothes and protects. But that's the way to go if you end up in a situation like me with very irritated skin, keep it basic, keep it fragrance and essential oil free and that will help to not exacerbate that irritation and prolong the healing process. So. Again, I was feeling very ready to try something like this and I really, really like this formula. Did they say? No, for some reason I thought they called this foaming. It's certainly not. They just call it a gel wash, which yes, it's very, very gel-like at first, but something that I really like about this cleanser is that I wouldn't necessarily say it gets really lathery in a foaming sense as you're rubbing it into the skin, 
but it almost kind of turns into a cream, which I really like. So that just felt really nice. Overall, just good, non-irritating application experience. Another that rinses away really easily. And I would agree with what they say in the label that it cleansed my skin without leaving my skin feeling tight, which is exactly what I was looking for. So probably the least exciting cleanser out of this entire video, but you guys know I love a cleanser like that. I'm down for unexciting skincare. Unexciting. Um, that, that one doesn't sound right. I'm down to use basic skincare if it leaves my skin feeling good, but. My second favorite cleanser out of all of these is one that so many of you recommended and have recommended over the past couple of years. I have seen all of your comments suggesting this brand and this product in particular. It is the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. So there's a couple forms of matcha in this cleanser. They're listed as green tea water and green tea powder. Green tea is a soothing antioxidant, so that is a great ingredient to look out for if you have irritation as well. This also has sweet almond and hemp seed oil, oat kernel extract, which is a really nice protective ingredient for the skin, and panthenol. So this one's funny because I did not read the label of this before I was writing down all my notes for this video, and I was trying to think through how to describe this formula because it's definitely the most unique cleanser formula out of all of the products in this video, and honestly, out of all the cleansers I've probably tried. So I was thinking about it because yes, it is lightweight and gel-like, but definitely not in the way that a lot of these other cleansers are or others that I've recommended before. So I'm like, it's like a bouncy gel. There's this bouncy element to it. And then I looked at the label, a bouncy jelly cleanser. I will say that while I like this cleanser and don't have any issues with the formula, I wasn't obsessed with the feel of it. I don't know. It's definitely different for me. Like when I think about those cleansers that I am obsessed with, this just didn't quite didn't quite hit the mark for me, but again, I did like it. It feels very gentle on the skin, which I think is great. This is fragrance and essential oil free as well. Rinses away easily. Really no complaints. So, it's definitely a good cleanser. I understand the hype. One I'd recommend, but didn't win first place for me. This next one did. And that is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. So this has tons of plant extracts in it, like aloe, green tea, kale, spinach, alfalfa, chamomile. It has vitamin C and E, it has panthenol, and it does have added fragrance, but it is very last on the label, and it doesn't have any other essential oils. It has a very subtle, light citrusy scent. It smells really nice. This is the nicest gel formula that I think I have ever tried. I've tried a lot of gel cleansers, you guys know that, and it's hard to differentiate between them because again, I feel like skincare textures are just kind of hard to describe, but there's just something special about this formula. It feels so soft and silky and slippery. I know I described the fresh cleanser in that way, but this is definitely different. I don't know, there's just something really elevated about this texture when it's applied to the skin. I love it and it rinses away easily too. So this is by far my favorite cleanser that I tried out of all of these. Oh my goodness, I'm really glad I didn't get the travel size of this because I will be using this nonstop and I also really love this glass bottle. It's just something that feels worth a higher price point to me. And that one thankfully does not leave my skin feeling tight or irritated whatsoever. So. That is the winner of this video and we have made it to the end. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you found this helpful and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Are any of these cleansers your favorite? Are you going to test any of these out after watching this video? If so, let me know which one or which ones. I will have them all listed and linked in my description box below in order of mention in this video. And if you wanna see a part two, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know which category you would like me to do for this video next. And make sure you're following me on Instagram so you see my next story so that you can submit your favorite product for whichever category we do. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. You know the drill. Aside from that thumbs up, please don't forget to subscribe and send my channel to a friend. Stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days. But until then, as always, I hope you have a great few days.